Welcome to Drosh Studio. Today we're going to talk about a simple but useful trick to aid us in construction. Let's get started. We can find the center of any square or rectangular plane by drawing a line from corner to corner. Where they cross will be the center of the plane. If we draw lines going through the center point, it will divide the plane. I like to call this the X trick because the lines going from corner to corner make a big X on the plane. We divided this plane into four even squares. We can divide each of those squares by using the X trick again. We went from one rectangle or square to four, and now we have divided the plane into 16 squares. Notice that we didn't have to do the X trick on each of the four squares. By dividing the top left and bottom right gave us the divisions for all four squares. Let's keep dividing. I'll use the X trick again on the top left, but using the same pattern, we only need to divide each square moving down in a diagonal line. Each one of those divisions will give us the center lines for a whole row. This makes dividing planes much quicker. Now we have divided this single plane into 64 squares. It doesn't matter what proportion the rectangle is in, or if the plane is in isometric perspective. The X trick will quickly divide your plane, but remember to stick with your X and Y lines in isometric perspective to keep it solid and correct. The X trick even divides planes in linear perspective. Just make sure your lines go to the appropriate vanishing point to keep the perspective correct. There is something important to point out here. Notice if we measure the width of the plane and cut it in half, the measured center is different from the X-trick center. The X-trick center is offset because of how the eye perceives things in linear perspective, which makes it appear like the plane is turned in space. When you draw planes in perspective, remember that the center line will be offset so there is more space on the side closer to the viewer. We can use the X trick to keep dividing in perspective. You will use this handy X trick for dividing planes quite a bit, especially when doing construction drawing. Practice this a few times until you have the pattern memorized. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.